Mm, I love her voice. I love her voice. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and you're good to go. Only takes a second and it would help me out a lot, so I would appreciate it. Now, today we're looking at a band that I have not done on the channel yet, but I have heard one song from them um, and I'll explain. Firstly, they're called Ancient Bards. I think they're from Italy. The song is called Through My Veins and it's a live one. Ordinarily, Tank the Tech and I won't listen to premieres and reactions of um, songs and bands that either one of us I uh, haven't heard before because we don't know if we're going to react to them later. But sometimes you think, forget it. I just want to support my guy, jump on the premiere um, or in Discord where we get like early looks at um, some reactions as well. If you want to join Discord, the link will be in this description. And um, yeah, I, it was, this was one of those times and I jumped in, had no idea who they were. Absolute banger of a song. Loved it and I thought I have to react to these guys as well. Can't wait to start uh, listening to them and seeing what, what else they've got. And so I picked a different song. This one was recommended to me in Discord and just really excited to get stuck into it. Um, Ancient Bards, Through My Veins, live at Wacken Open Air 2015. Let's see what you got. Um, uh, back to the beginning, shall we? That is a whole lot. A couple things here that are very cool. While he was kind of hyping it up and building it up, I think he said this is the last song, right? So that's important to note for what I'm going to say later. Uh, there was that kind of drummer boy marching band sound. I liked that a lot. And you could hear, you know, just like a ball of that synth in the background. And then as they kind of I say kicked in, it was still that phrasing that was going to lead into the explosion of music. But um, I liked how the drummer was keeping kind of that rhythm or that start of that rhythm and uh, the backbone. I think the bassist was helping push there as well. And the, the synth was doing its own thing, it was playing like a syncopated rhythm. But there was a point where everything lined up and they did that like rundown, which led into just absolute chaos on the drums. Um, nice like palm muting and nice really quick guitar work. But those vocals that came in and just belted from a first note like that. The reason I said it's important to remember that this is, I think he said it's a, the last song. If it is, they've done an entire set, okay? Which means her vocals are probably warm. However, to come in cold like that, at kind of a festival, live on stage, open air, and know how to kind of place that note, and again, it's a live recording, so that vocal was probably a bit louder than it needed to be on the recording, probably because it was held quite closely or, again, you know, different external factors that that, that can influence that. But, wow, to come in cold and hit that vibrato and just keep that um, constant, that constant belt, impressive. I need it all again. I like her voice. I like it a lot. 
nice change there. Um, you can hear the kind of definite breaks in music so her vocals can shine through it, but there's not a lack of music, but there's like a quick intensity and then a dip. And then there it started going to a more purposeful, deliberate fullness. So there was more palm muting and you could hear that kind of accenting helping the drums. It was providing quite a predictable but steady rhythm behind the vocal. I like when they do that. There's, there's levels to this stuff. And um, even in a verse, you can do that. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, he's got a good growl on him, really good. You could kind of hear that when he was hyping the song up in the beginning because he was adding some of that intensity on there. <laughs> this is great. Um, find your words, Chase, you'll be okay. Now, uh, that piece that you heard in the beginning when I said that the drummer was building up and hitting little accents and building up before it exploded and the synth was doing its kind of own thing, that was melodic foreshadowing because that's happening again now behind his growls. And you see it a lot. You see it a lot in symphonic metal. You see it a lot in actually a lot of genres, to be honest, because the introduction of an idea or a melody that can hook you before the vocal phrasing or anything's on top of it, it's smart. It gets you comfortable with it so you don't have to focus too much on that when it comes in again. You can focus on the addition, which is normally the vocal layering. Very cool. <laughs> There's, I think there's a choir effect behind there. Um, I'm a big fan of her voice. It's it's more, it's less, um, it's got attitude, it's got like a lot of sass to it, but it's quite like rock and roll in a way. It's, it reminds me of like those really great um, female hard rock vocalists from like the 90s and 80s. It's very good. easy um visuals are great i've said it lots before i'll say it again in case anyone is new to the channel when you see something your ears will find it and that's magic part of the the hard part of active listening or listening to music uh, the way i do for these reactions which takes a lot of practice is um trying to not listen to the song as a song quite often when i'm done listening to the song i haven't heard it as a song um i haven't appreciated it in its um in the way that you would when you put just a bit of music on and you're doing something else. You're trying to listen and move things out the way. It's why you'll see me move around a lot and try and eliminate sounds and try and focus and, and zone in on things. When you get a visual, it's very, it's much easier to do. Um, so when they went in there, I could aut automatically pick up, there was something that was really um, impressing me with the guitar work, but it wasn't, I'm a lefty, so it wasn't this hand that's doing all the, the intricacies. It's this one doing the strumming because there's really, really, really quick gallops there, really quick. And when you palm mute, you're limiting um, the function of your forearm and your wrist because it has to be in a certain place to create that muffled um, tonal value. So you've only got really your wrist to play with there. And um, it was quick, very quick. If you want to know how quick, listen to the drummer's feet.
that was great. Okay. They, again, foreshadowing. When they broke in, just before they broke into the actual fullness of the song in the beginning, you heard them line up and scale down. And I, I mentioned it. Now, now, this isn't that. They're not necessarily scaling down, but they're all working together. All the instruments have been um, complementing each other, but now they're literally pushing the same car up the hill because they're following each rhythmic pattern. Even the vocals have joined that. It's rare that you get all of that happening together. I like it. Listen to the, the synth on top. boy can play damn um quick 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 um nice tone on it you could hear one or two notes slightly muffled in the beginning but it's a live performance that's going to happen by no means am i saying errors just when you're playing that quick it's it is going to happen sometimes but the clarity he gets wow um and he's quick he's super quick te technically he's he's a master you can see he's, that guitar is an extension of him um and he's doing everything right there were really nice moments in there where he shifted down just kind of one note when he should have gone to when i say should have you expect it to and that creates like a drift off it it's like going from a major to a minor almost um, and then there were parts where he had dissonance so he was doing like two string bends and he was pushing it really nice so it created that dissonant bend all the way back into just absolute crazy scale work the guy is a beast bassist let's just talk about this bassist for a second because when everything's going on like this sometimes it's it's overlooked or it's hard to pick up i'll go back to the end but it's hard to pick up but he he's doing work he's doing work he's doing as much work as the guitarist on he's doing lots of full stuff in the in the middle really active with his finger picking um really active and steady <laughs> I love her voice. I love her voice. Okay, you know what? I, I was going to say something earlier. She's singing and kind of, you know, mimic screaming all the pieces with him. They're having a good time. They know each other so well. They know all the, she doesn't just know her parts. They know each other's parts. They are a band that has great chemistry. You can see it. They're having fun. She's going up to all the musicians, the bassists and guitarists are working nicely together. It's always the poor drama at the back, isn't it? Tough, tough gig. Um, that piece there just seems silly and insignificant, but... To see him go from that mic to that mic and have exactly the same power in it just shows you um, the talent of her vocal because he's screaming really loudly, like, right? He's, when you scream, there's, there's not really, in order to get that effect, the volume, there's no like volume control. You can go louder and louder, but it's very, it's very, it's very difficult to go really soft and scream. So he's putting out a lot of air and pressure, which means the mic volume has to be fairly low. For him to transfer to her mic and scream 
and it's the same volume. It just shows you the power she's got. That's remarkable. Step change there. Um, so you have a lot of, oh, okay, first of all, let me just say this, get this out of the way. I want her voice to be my alarm clock because she's fantastic. She could be a very good pop singer, very good country singer. She has a great voice, a nice twang to it as well. Um, but I, I'm so glad she isn't. I'm so glad she's here because this is perfect for her and she's lovely. Now they're doing a step change there because you can hear all the busyness um, just after she finishes this vocal run. Uh, the busyness of all the guitar and the bass and the drums and the synth is doing a step change so it's kind of been selective about what notes it hits deliberate to go on the start of the cycle but it's nice to have that as a counterbalance to all the busyness <laughs> How cool, man. How cool. I'd love to see them live. That'd be pretty special. That was awesome. Unexpected. Um, unexpected in a way that after I heard uh, the song that Tank detected to them, you know, I loved it, but it wasn't a live performance. So you don't quite know how it's going to translate. And boy, did it translate. Um, it was amazing. I'm kind of blown away. I really like that. Love her voice. Love the band. Fantastic musicians all around all right every single person there is meant to be there they're important and um i just like that in a band i like when there's no one star and everyone works together to create great music and that's just what they did so excited for more and there will be more i can guarantee it and uh wow i'm a bit exhausted actually to be honest but um loved that so until the next one you guys you guys will let me know where to go you know that and um please put any recommendations in the comments. Also, Discord is a very good place to recommend songs because there's a video suggestion section. You can tag either Tank or myself because we share the server. And um, we have um, some wonderful people who pull that into a Excel doc that's got all of the kind of votes on it as well. And they populate that so we can use that to work off our weekly plan. That doesn't mean we don't look at other comments and stuff from YouTube. Of course we do. It's just a really nice... Um, solid place and a nice formula for us to use so if you want to join and suggest there go ahead and do that if you want to put in the comments yeah, not a problem as well i do go through those and see them and i love that one so let me know where to go next until then please be safe be nice to each other and have a damn good day mm -hmm.